right, well, um, I'm Brad, and I'm Gemba Research's Japan Managing Partner. And you may be, I'm here to give you a lesson um, in Kaizen with Japanese characters. And you may be wondering to yourself, how come uh, some, you don't look like you're Japanese, you look like you're Caucasian, you don't even know, like, what, what, you know, don't feel like you really know what you're talking about. Well, I actually grew up in Japan. I was actually born there. I grew up there. I was made in Japan. I went to a normal Japanese school. I was the only white kid in, um, among 900 other people that had black hair. And so um, I went through Japan and um, a school system. I then um, was an interpreter for Japanese consultants. And now I'm actually a consultant in Japan teaching Japanese about lean. So what do you figure about that? Anyways, I'm hoping today um, we'll learn the Japanese characters and it'll give us a deeper understanding and a deeper appreciation for these concepts and um, how it applies to us. So hopefully you can wow your friends and um, enjoy your Kaizen journey with us. So um, our, first, our first letter will be Kaizen, since we, that's, that's the basis of Lean. And it's made up of two characters. So let's see here. All right. OK, so this one is Kai, right? That's Kai. And um, I don't know if you, this means change. So we'll just I'll put change there. That's the English equivalent. This one here is Zen. And some of you guys may be wondering, oh, I don't like to get into the whole Buddhist stuff. Don't worry. It's the same word. doesn't mean that. It um, just means good. So. You often hear of change for the better. That's where people get this from, is Kaizen. So that's, that's, that's just the start. Now, now it gets really exciting. So I want you to notice, do you see like two different sides to this character? So the way these things are structured is, it's, it's normally like two or three things. Each one has a meaning. So here's where it divides up. Okay, This one here, this means myself or yourself, okay? This one here, I'll, I'll let you take it. This one is actually a picture. And this is a picture of someone's back after it's being whipped. That makes no sense, right? But this means whip. So this is change, guys. So for all you lean people out there, what I tell them is, you know what, guys? I'm not here to beat you up. That's your job. You change yourself. Okay, so that's, that's a very nice way of explaining it, right? So that's change. Kai. And we also use this word for um, like revolution, let's say. So it's, it's not a small change, it's a big change. This one here is a little d difficult, but we'll, we'll try and divide it up. And actually just divide it up like that. That's where it's divided. This one here, I know it's kind of hard, but this one means like a sheep, or a lamb, or a goat, if you will. You'll never guess what this is. I didn't either until I studied this stuff, but this is an altar. Okay, so just like you sacrifice a lamb on an altar. This means it's sacrifice. That's good. Okay, so anyways, that's how it started. The sacrifice is good, good for God, good for the people that are doing it. So if you look at Kaizen, this is kind of interesting, isn't it? So whip yourself. And it's a sacrifice. So the way I explain it is, this is what you do. It's not, it's not my job to convince you. That's your job. And every one of you guys will, have, will be called to make a sacrifice. And when it is, just be willing to make it. Right? So we all have to make some sacrifices for the betterment of everybody else. It's not all about what's good for me. It's about what's good for the whole group. And the best way is you make a small sacrifice to, to, to make that happen. 